Hi there. We're so glad you're here today. As a congregation, we're here to obey God by making more disciples of Jesus. In short, it's not about us, but helping others take another step toward Jesus. Welcome to the first Sunday in May and welcome home. To those new with us today, we're so glad you're here. And don't worry, we're not going to embarrass you or single you out. We don't want something from you, but we do want something for you. So we'd love for you to complete a connection card in your bulletin or text connect FBC to 94000 to complete it on your phone. Also, stop by our guest center for a gift of our way of saying thanks for being here today. As we said, we're glad you're here and want to show it. Seriously. The connection card is for everyone. For newcomers, it is a way to get connected. For regulars, it's also a way to stay connected. Use your connection card to register your decision today, sign up for events, or just get connected. The connection card is part of your bulletin, or you can complete it online by texting Connect FBC to 94000. Connection cards go in the boxes by the exit in the lobby. You'll have a minute to complete those at the end of the message. If you're new around here and want to know what gets us excited and how we do what we do, then you want to stay after service May 21st for a free lunch and our Discover class. This is your next step in our church family. It's in the fireside room in the Tribe Building, and we would love to see you there. If I had to take a guess, I'd imagine you probably don't find the offering section of the video announcements to be one of your favorite parts. Am I right? And you know what? I can understand. Giving isn't always easy. However, I want to share some statistics we recently came across. In one study by professors at the University of Missouri and University of California, people who gave to others were found to have had more joy and contentment than those who weren't so generous. Another study discovered that charitable givers experience reduced rates of stress and lower blood pressure compared to those who do not give. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? In 2 Corinthians 9, 7, Paul writes, Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. So not only do we honor Jesus when we give, but we also get to enjoy the contentment that comes with loving others. This doesn't mean it will always be easy to give, but it does show that giving, as the Lord has given to us, changes the way we perceive our circumstances. There are four ways to give on the back of your bulletin. Online at our website, by texting any amount to 84321, in person with the wooden boxes located by the glass exits in the lobby, or by mail. Look at the back of your bulletin for this information and get the Wi-Fi password. Before you know it, May 14th will be here. It's less than a month away, and that is Mother's Day. We're looking forward to celebrating all the moms in our lives spiritual, physical, and biological, it's going to be a great day. We are the Church of Hope. There's hope here. His name is Jesus. His hope changes us. Thanks again for being here today. And now grab your Bibles and your message notes as we continue our message series called The Ways of the Wise. Thanks for watching.